Hi guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. I thought I'd do one more bonus video in my 12 Days of Boa Mist series. And for the last episode, I've saved a really cool true red tail boa. And this is a form that you don't see as often as the Surinams, Guianans, or Peruvians. Uh, and this is the North Brazilian true red tail boa. And so these animals definitely have a different look to them. This is a 2015 female, so she's going on uh, seven years old. She was produced by Mike Weissman from Basically Boas. And the crossing was a Bissat cross with an Evans Dyer and Renfro bloodline. So she uh, brings together a lot of really nice bloodlines. And this animal really epitomizes the look of the Northern Brazilian boa for me. So you can see that they have a, definitely a very busy pattern uh, or you could call it a, a, you know, a dirty looking pattern. A lot of background markings and freckles and speckles that occur between the saddles. Looking at the shape of the saddles, they have these peak saddles, but they're definitely asymmetrical and you know, a little bit more jagged and you know, non-clean looking than some of the Suriname and Guianan boas. And just a lot of background markings. The ground color of these animals is also a little bit different from the Guiana and Suriname. Typically they have kind of a more yellowish gray background color, less of the reddish and orange or you know purplish uh, colors. Um, the exact locality of these North Brazilian red tails is not known, but it's thought that they originate from animals collected uh, from Northern Brazil, south of like the Guiana Shield, so south of Suriname and Guiana. So I've seen quite a few pictures of these animals. Some of them look pretty much the same as the Suriname and Guianan boas. And I think you'd be really hard pressed to tell the difference just from if you didn't know the locality. But others do have this, you know, the, definitely a more dirty look to them like this one. And um, the tail is, and this one is quite red and long almost as long and red as some of my Suriname boas, although other bloodlines don't have quite as long or red of a tail. And just really like this animal. She is also reaching or approaching full size. She's maybe, I don't know, five, five and a half feet long. They seem to be a smaller form of true red tail than the Suriname and Peruvian. Um, don't get quite as big. So I'm attempting to breed her right now. We'll just have to see. I haven't bred this locality in the past, so I'd be really happy if it's successful. But sometimes you just have to let the boas do their thing and nature take its course and see what happens. So hopefully we'll see what happens in the summer of 2022 and if we have any of these North Brazilian red tails born here. I have animals from another bloodline of North Brazil boas, and that is the Lemke bloodline. This is a male that was bred by Vin Russo from the Lemke bloodline back in uh, 2016. And so superficially, this animal is similar to the female I just showed you. You know, I, I would say his color is, his background color is maybe a little bit darker. Their saddles are a little bit different in the shape. Um, you can see he's got a couple saddles that are connected, and sometimes you see animals with you know two to four saddles that are connected to form this kind of stripe and then looking at his tail i would say that it's a little bit shorter and not as bright as some of my other red tails but nice looking boa nonetheless you know um this guy is still some growing to do he's a year younger than the female i showed you but he's probably not going to get too much bigger you know definitely not a giant boa and so this animal, and I also have a female from the same litter, they were quite hissy for the first few years I had them. They would always hiss and strike at me. And you know, it was definitely one of my more aggressive animals, but they've really calmed down over the last few years. And now I, you know, they're as handleable as any boa that I have. Um, you can see the, the nice musculature on these animals, you know, really good shape, very muscular, not overfed, of course, which is something you really want to avoid with the true red tails but just a nice, healthy, muscular, true red tail boa from Northern Brazil. So I hope you enjoyed this video and this series looking at lots of different locality boas over the 12 days of Boamus and then a few days extra. As always, shoot me any questions you may have. I look forward to releasing more videos in 2022. So if you are not a subscriber, I really appreciate if you consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and enjoy your boas.